Good morning everyone. Welcome back to Maths Online class of class 3rd. I hope you all are fit and fine and uh, you have enjoyed your Diwali festival. Now today I will teach you about money exercise 11C, 14C and uh, 14D. These all about multiplication of money and division of money. So pay attention here all of you. Now come to page number 120. A multiplication of money. Multiply money is the same way you multiply ordinary numbers. For longer sums write the rupees and paisa in separate column or you can put point between them. An example is given see here first one is 30 paisa into 5 multiply it the answer is 150 paisa second is second example is rupees 15 into 4 15 fours are 60 it will become rupees 60 now third one you multiplied 400 by 3 three zeros are zero three zero zero three fours are 12 the answer is 1200 rupees 1200 now this question you see find 25 paisa into 7 and you can write it like in uh, like vertical form 25 multiply 7 7 5 is 35 write here 5 carry put carry here 3 3 7 to the 14 plus 3 17 the answer is 175 paisa and you can change it in rupees also it will become when you divide by 100 you will get 1 rupees 1 1 rupees 75 paisa like this you will do all questions in exercise let us start this exercise 14c it is all about multiply first question is 15 paisa multiply 5. 15 paisa multiply by 5. 15 5 is 75 paisa. The answer is 75 paisa. Now come to B part. 50 paisa into 6. Now multiply it. 6 0 is 0. 6 5 is 30. The answer is 300 paisa. Now come to C part. 60 paisa into 3 3 zeros are 0 3 6 are 18 the answer is 180 paisa now d part 300 paisa into 7 7 zeros are 0 7 zeros are 0 7 3 are 21 the answer is 2100 paisa now e part rupees 8 into 9 8 9 is 72 the answer is rupees 72 write in the space given 72 now f part 12 multiply 4 12 4 is 48 the answer is rupees 48 now g part rupees 90 into 2 2 0 is 0 2 9 is 18 the answer is 180 now h part 200 into 5 multiply it the answer is rupees 1000 now come to question number 2 23 multiply rupees 23 or you can say 23 rupees 40 paisa multiply by 2 two zeros are 0 2 4 is 8 put decimal here or point 2 3 is 6 2 2 is 4 the answer is 46 rupees 80 paisa now second b part rupees 15.25 it means 15 rupees 25 paisa multiply by 4 4 5 is 20 right here 0 2 carry 
4 2s are 8 plus 2 10 right here 0 1 carry 4 5s are 20 20 plus 1 21 right here 1 put carry 4 1s are 4 plus 2 right here 6 the answer is 61 rupees now c part 0 0.45 multiply 6 it is less than 1 rupee na you write here r e 6 5s are 30 right here 0 take over on tens 3 6 4s are 24 24 plus 3 27 right here 7 put carry here 2 6 0 0 plus 2 right here 2 the answer is 2 rupees 70 pesa now d part 72 rupees 50 pesa multiply by 8 8 zeros are 0 8 fives are 40 right here 0 take 4 carry here 8 to the 16 plus 4 20 right here 0 take 2 carry here 8 7 56 plus 2 58 the answer is 580 rupees and listen carefully students from e to h part you do in your homework in book itself okay now question number three a part 97 95 pesa multiply by seven question three a part 95 pesa into seven 95 into 7, 7 fives are, you have to write in vertical form first, it will be easy for you, 7 fives are 35, right here 5, take carry 3 on tens place, 7 nines are 63, plus 3 right here, 66, the answer is 665 pesa. Now B part, rupees 48 into 6, first you write in vertical form, 48 multiplied by 6, First, we will multiply one side 6 8 ja, 48 right here 8 and take carry over uh, tens place 4 6 4 to 24 plus 4 28 the answer is 288 now see part 0 0.75 into 5 now multiply it 5 5 to 25 put carry here 5 7 to 35 plus 2 37 7 you write here take carry over here 5 0 to 0 plus 3 right here 3 the answer is 3 rupees 75 pesa now d part the question is uh, 16 rupees multiply by 4 the answer is 64 rupees Now listen carefully students from E to H part this part you do in your copies in homework okay and this part question 2 E to H question 3 E to H you have to do in homework question 3 you will do in copy and uh, question 2 from E to H part in your books only. Now come to page number 121 it is about division of money and divide money is the same way as you divide ordinary numbers let's start with an example 65 pesa divided by 13 13 5 is 65 right here 5 pesa now second example 700 pesa divided by 7 the, you will get when you divide it 100 pesa now rupees 72 divided by 9 you can write rupees like this like this 79 8 just 72 the answer is rupees 8 now next question is divide 48 rupees and 32 pesa by 8 then how you can write it 48 here you write 32 
and on the top 48 uh, you have to write here rupees and here pesa and separate it or you can write like this 48 decimal 32 it will be easy for you so follow this pattern 8 6 of 48 right here 48 and now minus it you will get 0 now carry down 32 and right here 8 8 for the 32 when you minus it you will get 0 the answer is 6 rupees 4 pesa like this also you can do division now come to exercise part question number one a part question number one a part 45 pesa divided by 9 the answer is 9 5 is a 45 now the answer is here 5 pesa now b part 500 pesa divided by 5 the answer is here when you divided it by 5 500 pesa now c part 14 divided by 2 2 7 is a 14 you write here 7 in the space given now d part rupees 18 divided by 3 3 6 is 18 now write here 6 like this you do all parts in your book set book set itself now question 2 a part the question is 42 rupees 60 pesa 6 7 is a 42 minus it you will get 0 now carry down 60 and divided by 6 6 1 is a 6 uh, minus it 0 now carry down 0 6 0 is a 0 minus it you will get here 0 the answer is 7 rupees 10 pesa and you can write like this now b part 28 rupees 20 pesa divided by 4 first you divide rupees 28 4 7 is a 28 minus it you will get 0 now you divide pesa 20 divided by 4 4 5 is a 20 now next one c part right here uh, the question is 35 rupees 5 pesa 5 7 to 35 minus it you will get here 0 now divide pesa by 5 5 0 is a 0 minus it here 0 carry down 5 5 1 is a 5 minus it you will get here 0 the answer is 7 rupees 1 pesa like this you do this part also now question number 3 a part 8 rupees 80 pesa divided by 4 see how you can do but you have question number 3 a part 8 rupees 80 pesa divided by 4 and you can write like this 8 decimal 80 before decimal it is rupees and after decimal it is pesa 4 to the 8 minus it here you will get 0 now carry down 80 pesa and divided by 4 4 to the 8 minus at 0 now carry down 0 4 zero to 0 the answer is 2 rupees 20 pesa now b part 12 rupees 60 pesa divided by 6 12 decimal 60 write like this and divided by 6 6 to the 12 minus it 0 now carry down 60 and 60 pesa divided by 6 and here the answer is 6 1 just 6 minus it 0 now carry down 0 6 0 is a 0 put cross here or you can write here 0 and the answer is 2 rupees 10 pesa now see part 30 rupees 50 pesa divided by 5 write like this 30 decimal 50 or 30.50 5 6 is a 30 minus it 0 now carry down 50 and divided by 5 5 is a 5 minus it 0 now carry down 0 5 0 is a 0 minus it here you put cross and the answer is 6 rupees 10 pesa now 
do all these questions in your homework properly in a good handwriting and uh, these part also and uh, these two parts you have to do in books only now take care students thank you everyone keep learning and stay safe at home